Talk about the new thing on the world map. There's a thing on the world map. Yeah, that's, it's a cloud. I mean, it's a cloud. Oh, I mean, I don't know what more that we can say. Yeah. Look, that, no, that's it. It's a cloud. I mean, there we go. We talked about it. Um, can you show the first tab of your spreadsheet? Uh, the first tab of my spreadsheet is... Uh, well, all the way to the end. Miscellaneous facts. I mean. questions like um are you able to tell us about specific stuff about the summer update and stuff we're not able to in this scenario um, whenever the summer update is revealed um you can imagine there will be a stream for it and then we can start getting into the nitty gritty and stuff like that but we can try and answer stuff with general uh emery work being done on combat responsiveness with channeled abilities and such uh i think I'm not too sure, like, we're working on the dead clicks issue, but that's about it to I know of at the moment. So, we are looking, if, if we find issues, we look into them, so. Yeah, there's a lot of investigation going on, because obviously, you know, it's it's been an, uh, um, an issue amongst you lot who are PVM and so on, so there's obviously investigation ongoing to see what we can do, so fingers crossed we can get somewhere with that one. Um, can we get a bag to hold in hands so much wasted bank space? That'd be nice. <laughs> um, with the release of Wiki, will there be future items added in the future, like GE to open the Grand Exchange on RuneScape? See, the problem is if we do start, if we start adding more stuff to the one slash command and then a prompt, it then makes friends chat a little more awkward. So, if for example you add slash GE. You might say in your friends chat, uh, in response to someone, slash GE, but then it brings up the GE for you without replying to that person. Technically, that is an issue with slash wiki, but slash wiki gets away with it, because you never really start a sentence with wiki unless, of course, you reply to someone, but, you know, I think we can get away with that yeah. one. But if you add it on the slash, I think it becomes a bit of a, a problem when it comes to friends chatting, because, of course, one slash is talking, unless yeah. you're on the friends chat window. So, D Source keeps asking about Stone Spirits. Wait till next Tuesday, and we'll talk more about it then. I can understand the, uh... <laughs> yeah, the people keep joining in, uh... Can we possibly get slash question mark for a list of commands? We already have that. Look, ready? Yeah. Watch my chat box. Oh. There you go. And you'll notice the slash wiki's down there as well. But yeah, it's already a thing. So if you go in game and type slash, and then the question mark, it oh, already God. gives you a list of commands. So yeah, if you did not use that already, that is a thing. So uh, yeah, that is uh, there. Um. Oh man, there's too many. Any news on iOS beta? I've got nothing to share about iOS um, in this regard. When it comes to the next mobile dev blog, I can see if I can get more news regarding iOS, which might be useful, but uh, nothing to say on the stream for this one, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> what shampoo do you use? You well, even? if you watched Evolution the movie, you know to use Head and Shoulders, right? I've never watched oh, Evolution the movie. Oh, Shawnee. <laughs> To educate you in watching movies, man. So many you're not seeing. It's you unbelievable. View, you can view your friends with some RS3 by just clicking this little icon here, uh, the little uh, icon on here. If you need to get to it, you can mouse over your little icon up here and then click it here. That's how you get to your friends list. Uh, some people get to reference, so I'm proud of you. <laughs> I don't get the best whatsoever, <laughs> unfortunately. It's very uncultured, I am. Um, oh, my lord. This is So, this is the most <laughs> Twitch chat. Engagement we've done on a stream in a little while, so we are trying everyone. I do apologize, we are missing stuff because uh, it is just flying by. But <laughs> I'm trying to answer as much as we can. This oh is my god, too much! Uh, it's possible to get miraculous treatment stored on tool belts uh, or tool leprechaun. Sorry, uh, misread that. We'll so for men, yeah, so it's fine. Well, it's something we have, we have to discuss, so we I can't even really decide, like, yes, we'll do that. But we have a discussion means every Monday where we discuss new additions. So we can talk about it next Monday, I guess. Cool. Oh, wait. Not, not next Monday. Next Tuesday. Wait, so are you going to have a meeting yeah, on Tuesday? Yeah, in, in, in two weeks then. Uh, yeah, so we, we, we collect things and talk about it. I got a message from Mob Breezer saying, can you give people stroopwaffles? You're the one who gives people stroopwaffles, not me. 
No, no, but can he? Because he's in game oh, right yeah, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, give people stroop waffles. There you go. There's his permission to do it. So if you're in game on 125, go get yourself stroop waffles. The banana one is the best one. Just saying. Uh, of course you'd say that. Um, can the day and I have aura be put into the aura management window? Um, I'm pretty sure that is being discussed um, if we can do it. So, yeah, I'm not sure uh, on the specifics on that one. There you go. Stroop waffle. So, yeah. There you go. You did that update, right? Yeah, I did that update, yes. Hence why it's a banana stroop waffle. <laughs> Course, anything you 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 gotta have your signature mark on yeah, any update you do. I so, might we've seen a banana pizza. Right? Are we gonna see a banana stone spirit then? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know what to be banana stone spirit. <laughs> no, that, that, that's just odd. Uh, it's not a stone. Double bananas when you get bananas or something. <laughs> um, when will we be able to finally upgrade an augmented sea singer Cuba fin? Talked about months ago. That's the port augmented update. I'm pretty sure I may be getting this wrong, but I'm pretty sure Model Ryan's looking into that um, as an update to do. So uh, keep an eye out for that one. Will it be possible to put sprinkling in the tool belt? I kind of hope not. I feel like the tool belt's already got quite a lot on there already. Yeah, the sprinkling it won't go on the tool belt, no. Yeah, it has too many configurations on it to go on there as well. So well, we got and C the side, her it's side. Also charged with springs so you can't go on a tool belt. Ah oh, yeah, that would be interesting. How would that work? Yes, um, precisely. Concrete Rewick news. Uh, nothing new in that regard apart from what we said on stream, but uh, I believe there is a dev blog in the process which will kinda jump into uh, that stuff to say the very least. Um right. Oh I've got a Swedish question. Okay. It's flying Jacob is my favourite dish. If you're Swedish, you know what one is. And if you don't, then... Google it. Google it. It's an amazing, amazing dish. Right, okay. Some of you might be disgusted. <laughs> Let's get into uh, top 10 boss item collectors. Now, this is across the entire game. So, this is the one per the, the top players across their entire collection logs, um, based on the bosses that were in the list, um, on how much they collected. Now, of course, if you are someone who does a lot of rots, then theoretically you will be up there on the list, uh, and so on. So the numbers could be a little bit gained in that regard, but still going to be pretty awesome to see it. So, if we look at the top, we have uh, pretty close between first and second, but on average they add about 404 items per day uh, to their collection log in whatever they may be doing. Uh, presumably I'm going to guess that's rots for first and second, and third maybe, but I'm not sure. But uh, either way, uh, a pretty uh, insane amount. I'm in. Uh, is just into the 11k, so 90 odd plus, uh, 90 plus in the day. And for Hakka Iron Man, um, 64 and 7,700. Some people say, where can we get the waffles? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put down a lodestone for everyone. No. Oh, we'll do that. Oh, I'm going myself pickle cabbage. Whoops. All right. Well done. Yay, well done me. Let's put it, uh, let's put it here. That should be fine. Lodestone. Events. They're good for now. Okay, so if you're on World 25, you can do this really cool thing called uh, teleport into a J Mod Lodestone. So if you don't know how to do that, go into your Lodestone interface, and you'll notice there's a little crown in the bottom left called teleport to J Mod. So just use that if you want to get to where the party's happening. I guess not really a party, just a gathering. <laughs> but yeah, these two balls. Feel free to uh, who's this? Oh, freeze. Okay, I want to double check why is there a Gobi running around. It's crazy. But yes, feel free to use the Lodestone if you if you. You don't want to make the loads, then teleport the fire can make your way there, so you can do that and save yourself a bit of time. Right, so um, this is tracked kills uh, for um, Slayer Monsters. Unfortunately, um, I didn't notice this until I opened the spreadsheet late before I did the stream. We don't <laughs> have prestige numbers, but this is since the start of this year, and I can tell you that just from this list alone, this is Abyssal Demons. If we keep scrolling and scrolling, I mean, look, I'm just going to hold page down. This is how many people this year um, That's not too many. have hit prestige on Abyssal Demons. We're not too many. We're at like 4,000 plus. Look at this. This is ridiculous. This, All these people have hit the prestige limit on Abyssal Demons. Um, yeah, it goes down quite a fair amount. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a fair amount there. So we have all the NPCs and so on. I mean, if someone's very dedicated to Abomination, which they are, 3,844 of them. <laughs> On an Iron Man, 11,000. For some reason, I do not know why, if you look you at the difference... You really want the cape. <laughs> they must have it at 11,000. Well, it's either the cape, or they want a lot of Bayonite Stone Spirits. I mean, 11,000... So whichever you choose, really. Abomination kills on, a, on an Iron Man, um, which is just absolutely insane. Some people seem to know who that person is. How can Iron Man 3 4 2, uh, uh, first and 8 for seconds? But hey, it must be quite decent, right? Uh, for uh, the Iron Man in the Abomination stuff. 
Uh, an FG open count would have been nice, but I think FG open count. I think caps. it is already. One. I mean, you can quick chat that. I mean, yeah. it would be nice. I think it caps though, does it not? I don't know, clue. It wouldn't surprise I me. I got my pet over seven, so stop. Oh, of course you did. Of course you did. Um, okay, we'll choose a couple more, and then we'll get into um, bonus XP and aura activations. Then we'll go right back to the beginning and cover a few more things. Uh, anything new about Madrat aura? Nothing new uh, in that regard, unfortunately. Uh, if we have more to tell you, we'll do it on an, a stream where we can address that. Uh, so this is a, this is going to be interesting. Um, this is stuff that's way out of my... Uh, <laughs> uh, my, way out of my area when it comes to crazy people in the chat will be better reading this better than me but um, this is the chat which is a, which accommodate to combat ability unlocks in the game um, throughout every day um, if I'm interpreting it properly so you'll notice that based on the colors we have here um, devotion obviously does very well naturally um, devotion is a Pretty awesome little ability. There you go. I've enlarged it a little bit so you guys can see it better. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, can you read? You probably can read this better than me because I'm really crap at reading this stuff. Well, the bigger the, the line, the more unlocks there are. Yeah, but there's colours and everything else. People will be, <laughs> someone will take a picture and some people will figure it out a lot better than me. I'll tell you that much. Um, but yeah, this is something that um, Data Team just threw in because it was already they already had it. Um, and yes, we did have the graphs cleared to show. I forgot to get rid of that, but yes, it was cleared to show. Um, forgot to get rid of that line. Good stuff. Well done. <laughs> uh, all right, bonus XP. Nice and simple, but um, this is by average and by total. And you can see when it comes to the skills, um, Slayer is the highest uh, average bonus XP per player, with the average player having 461,000 bonus XP on Slayer. Uh, and all... What from? Uh, sorry? I thought like... Angelic, your fire maker would be highest. You gotta right. remember, obviously, the grind to 120 Slayer. There's an actual grind to get there. There's an yeah, actual skill, enough. right? Versus the agility, where agility, of course, is a virtual level compared to, of course, DG and Slayer. And all the way down the bottom is hit points. Um, Invention, surprisingly, does very well for bonus XP, which I find very surprising. Um, but yeah, Invention's actually mid-table. And you gotta remember, any bonus XP you get from Invention is halved as well. So... I know, I just, I just find that really fascinating, in a way. Uh, and yeah, hit points down the bottom, as to be expected. You train that quite a lot when it comes to combat, because it's just the way it is. Uh, followed by range, and the combat skills kind of down here. Mining, probably everyone's used their bonus XP from the yeah. mining smith and rework. I would have a guess as to why um, it's quite down there. But, you know, we have the usuals. People probably saving their summoning bonus XP <laughs> for um, double XP, same for prayer, uh, and so on and so forth. And then we're going to aura activations, which is always good fun. So we'll look at individual auras first. Uh, so, well, we'll look at both of them. So grouped auras, um, what we mean by this is if you combine a legendary Jack of Trades aura, the Supreme Jack of Trades aura, the Master version, it all adds up to about 10% usage in aura activations. But one and only vampirism absolutely dominates in the individual auras as well as groups. It's one aura and it just leads the way when it comes to it. If you look at group auras, Maniacal uh, is sneaking up. And for the first time, Maniacal's gone into second place on individual auras. Before it was Pennant, it is now Maniacal. So, uh, Someone said hello to me. Uh, uh, but yeah, Maniacal aura sneaking up towards second. And you can kind of notice the um, what are considered to be the optimal auras for PVM, which is your Zerkin auras, so Berserker, Reckless, and Maniacal. They've all started to go up. And of course, as you'd expect, Legendary Green Fingers, uh, which is of course related to farming, is still up there and always does very well. If we go down the bottom, um, we have Friend in Need, which is being used uh, by 0.02% 0, 0, uh, 0 .02 of the time, but the most least used aura uh, is the Supreme Flame Proof Aura, the Legendary Flame Proof Aura. So someone just doesn't want to burn their food and they're hell bent on using their aura for it, <laughs> uh, to say the very least. So yes, the Flame Proof Auras have been used in some way. Um, during uh, this time, so uh, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh goodness me! Will we ever be able to move when transmogrified like you were doing as a Gobi? I don't think we ever will allow you to move when transmogged because in animations and stuff, so. and to the player when they're transmogged, they yeah. should be still J mods or a little bit special in that regard. Where is the oddball aura? I don't even know if odd oddball, yeah, oddball is human on here. Wait, where was it? Did you see it? Yeah, I thought so. Maybe, Easy I'm, maybe I'm just blind. No, it's not there. Try to do oh. it. Try to do a search. It's not there. He's scrolling. I'll blame you. 
Come, <laughs> can we have Ark resources gathering data for the next stream yet? I think that'd be awesome. Uh, being able to see like who's gathered the most bamboo and stuff, I think would be very awesome to do. Uh, oh, how we look at the margin aura. You use zero point nine two percent. Oh, Madra aura. Controversial. Zero point nine. Yeah, zero point nine two percent used. So there you go. But of course, obviously, and uh, Dwarven Instinct, and considering Dwarven Instinct's only available to a uh, uh, you know, select amount of people, it's still used a fair amount, uh, which is uh, just the way it is. You know, not everyone has it, same as Madra Aurora, so their percentages will be lower, so just the way it is. Um, Alright, let's get ready to wrap up shortly with some uh, miscellaneous facts, shall we? So, without further ado, um, I'll zoom this in a little bit. Um, and then we'll get ready to wrap up. So, as you can see, uh, we have this many max levels, as the numbers here. Combat level 3 and 120 and 200 million Slayer. Only 22 people have combat level 3 and 200 million Slayer, followed by 70 for 120 Slayer and combat level 3. And in the last year, as you can see, there have been more, there's been one more party hat purchase sold in 2019 by this time than in 2018. So This is for the GE though. Yes, this is for the GE. Uh, and if you want total numbers, there's a total amount of player days, total amount of quest points, and the total amount of XP between all the players in RuneScape. So, um, without further ado, everyone, uh, I'm gonna run up the in-game and say to everyone in-game that, you know, thank you all for coming on out. But I think uh, we'll get ready to wrap up here. And um, yeah, I think, are we, uh, everything all good? I'm just making sure I've ticked everything off my list here. Yep, cool. <laughs> okay, we're all good. So uh, we're gonna get ready to wrap up everyone. And we thought we'd leave you with this to end our stream.